top serious to fatal accident types. Okay, what are the types of accidents most common on farms? Overturning tractors. I've got a lot of stories from my own youth growing up, uh, just five miles from our farm. We had a, a gentleman that was killed by an overturning tractor. He was on a gravel road. And what happened was there was an oncoming pickup on a gravel road and he had to move over. But what he did, it was in the spring of the year when the shoulder was so soft that the shoulder of the road gave way and over he went. Another common cause of overturning tractors is a jackknife situation. You're going down a steep hill with a heavy load behind you, and all of a sudden you realize the tractor is too light and it starts to skid, and over you go. Who's got some other examples of what can cause tractor rollovers? I need some audience participation here. Yes, sir. Pardon? Cement terraces. Yeah. Terraces. yeah, yeah. On steep terraces. Yeah, it wouldn't take much to flip. Anybody else have situations that you recall from your own experience where it was a tractor rollover and what caused it? Yes, sir. Well, all tractors now have loaders on them. Right? Yeah. Those can pick up something too heavy with an engine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, pick up something too heavy with a front end loader. Big bad wave. Yeah, especially if it's still a, a row crop tractor with a narrow front end with a loader on it. Barn structure falls or falling objects. Falling off of a building that you're working on. Maybe you're just painting a, painting a barn or painting an outbuilding. Uh, falling objects. That seems kind of odd, and yet I can remember growing up frequently, and the most common one is when you were trying to get something off of a high shelf, and in moving what you were trying to get off the high shelf, you bumped something else, and that thing came tumbling down. Farm machinery entanglements, mostly power takeoff is what we think about, but what gets often tangled up? Believe it or not, a lot of cases it's women, it's hair. They're leaning over and somebody starts the PTO and the, the hair gets caught and boom, the head is down and, and the person is killed or very seriously wounded from long hair. What's another common source of machinery entanglement and PTO? Hoodie sweatshirts with the strings hanging down. Those strings, you don't think about it at the time, but look, I'm wearing this tie right now. Would not be a good idea for me to be leaning over if somebody's in an operator's position where that PTO could suddenly start spinning. What are some other types of machinery entanglements that you folks have heard of or read about or even, God forbid, experienced uh, among your own friends, family, or neighbors? Yes, sir. Augers. Grain augers, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Belts. Belts in a compound or something? Yeah, yeah. Reverse. Yeah. Another common one is when a machine with, with spinning rollers has something stuck in it and, you're, and you, you go to grab for it just to pull it out, like a stick that's stuck in, like this goes back to picking corn in the ear. But when, if once the, it grabs, you can't let go fast enough. It's, I mean, it's, it's a millisecond. And people think, well, I'll just be to break the stick off or, or pull it loose. And instead, the rollers grab it and it pulls your hand in before you can even think to let go of what it was you were hanging on to. Animal-related industry, injury, I keep saying industries. Injuries, mostly horses and cattle related. Falling off horses or horses running under. My big problem when I was a kid, we had horses. And it seemed like every horse that we got trained itself to run under low tree branches because I wasn't as good a horseman as I should have been. Either that or running real close to a barbed wire fence. I had more than one scrape that way. Uh, we used to have, this is going way back to the, we had to dehorn it, we had a cow capper. And just getting cattle in a dehorning chute often revolt, resulted in some pinched fingers. Suffocation in grain bins, silos, and manure pits. We had a very tragic accident our farm was bordered on two sides by the Kramer farm, kind of an L shape around our farm, and we always hoped we could expand our operation by buying the Kramer farm. But when Frank Kramer passed on, he passed it on to his son, Roger. No chance, Roger was in his 20s, except Roger got into a manure pit, a hog confinement building, did not realize the hazards of methane gas and lost his life in a manure pit. Anybody have any other situations of suffocation Yes. 
i see heads nodding this way.